6k now doesn't expand a collision box, allowing the opponent to stay closer after connecting. This lets you roll through even if the opponent FDs from close to mid range from 5k 6k and close slash 6k. If they FD you out, then you may actually roll through far enough to avoid getting thrown. But if they don't FD, then you can be thrown guaranteed. However, if they try to mash out with a button, you will still beat it as long as you time the shot correctly. Roll now keeps you close enough to do close slash after any roll. This is great for conversions since sometimes you'd end up far away making it hard to convert. And now if they block the cross up, you can frame trap with close slash as long as your timing is good, leading to even better pressure after it's blocked. Also remember that if they're throw happy, frame trap them with 2 through success for a large punish. Throw now leaves them closer, letting you OTG with 2s. You can then cancel into curse, reload, or focus to try to gain some resources back and start zoning again. This also gives a safe jump with micro dash JK whiff into falling JS. If you dash just a little longer, then you can cross up with JD. Also, you can do J2K to set up a high low, but FD pretty much negates this. The J2K also safe jumps as long as you don't pull out the gun too early. The cross up has the potential to make their DP whiff, making it even better for you. To mess with them trying to anti air the cross up, you can do air backdash J2K to punish them. But don't forget you get the rising fuzzy after the cross up JD. Just be careful since the JD is 6 p able. If you stick with the standard safe jump, then you can option select against backdash by doing 5k. This will combo on hit, make them block if they blocked, punish the backdash, and not come out if they do a reversal. Now 2 3 success doesn't send them as far away in combos until much later, letting you use it more often in combos. This is pretty important since the changes to fire make the combo decay go up faster. This seems to be the best route for corner to corner. They simplified the inputs for cancelling out a steady aim with 2p for reload, 4p for focus, 6p for curse, 4k for roll, and 6k for scapegoat. If you are unloading all your bullets as fast as possible, you'd need to do a quarter circle to go in and out of steady aim, but now you just need to input it to go in and hold back and press S to go out, making this much less intensive. The same applies for guard curse zoning since you don't need to input down twice anymore. It may make the input easier for those who had trouble, but since I'm so used to it I'll probably keep doing it the old way. But it's all about what you prefer since the old inputs still work the same. The gunshot now scales the combo faster and increases the combo decay making conversions much harder, makes some old combos not work, and also just lowers the overall damage of each combo. On top of the damage nerfs from fire, his super also got nerfed from doing 137 to 127. Overall his damage is weaker, but he still does higher damage especially since he gets conversions off practically any hit, so it shouldn't be that noticeable, and many other characters got damage nerfs to go with it. The change to reload doesn't work exactly as it reads, since you are always able to reload immediately from at the ready. What they didn't mention is that now concentration starts to build back faster when you do reload. In the last patch, if you did round star curse then did 3 guard crush shots, you'd be completely out of concentration and in the red, but now you can be completely full screen and still have some concentration left over. You could also do 4 quick shots instead, but overall his zoning and concentration management have improved. Super Focus's concentration effect got halved from 10 seconds to 5 seconds, but they increase the amount of concentration you get for doing reload after doing a shot, so you either can do the same amount of shots or potentially more, making this change be more of a fix to keep it in check with the concentration building. Wild Assault is an incredibly powerful mechanic for happy caps. Since converting from shot into steady aim is now harder, you can now cancel the steady aim shot into Wild Assault for an easy conversion. And if you're just trying to get them to the wall, going from shot to Wild Assault to 6s is great for launching them. If you want to convert with Close Slash, then I recommend whiffing a 5k after a Wild Assault to recover faster. A big downside you may have noticed is the scaling Wild Assault does. It immediately dramatically decreases the damage you can do. But after wall splatting with a shot, you can reload two bullets and still get charged Wild Assault to wall break. If you want to do it after focus, you'll need a spaced shot to give it a little extra time, or just take the fast Wild Assault if they got stuck right after the shot. This isn't practical at all. But it also gives some interesting combo routes like this, so definitely experiment around and try to have some fun with this new mechanic. The conversions are nice, but what's really strong are the mix-ups. Confirm any blocked poke into shot, then wild assault into jump. This will give you a high-low easily, just make sure to do a normal 5-8 shot or two to keep them blocking. If you neutral jump, it'll carry a little momentum but keep you same side, but if you jump forward, then it will give you a high-low on the other side, so decide whichever way you want to mix. And on top of having a high-low on either side, you can also go right into a fuzzy if you don't use the air dash. I also love this sneaky cross-up after earning their respect. It's important to know that if you do a button into Wild Assault, they can mash, but if you do a later hitting shot into Wild Assault, it will be gapless. You can go right into these mix-ups from your zoning, assuming you have a lot of resources. 
And here's a little jump scare throw just for fun. Also, you can do this after you finished a normal block string, but committed to a low or non-jump cancelable button, so you don't need to waste more concentration, bullets, or tension trying to set up another mix-up. But if you're low on resources and you can't do the jump cancel mix, then it's fine to just continue with a normal block string, go for a roll mix-up, or even go right into a high-low with 6k or tap dust. But it's also important to know that you can't cancel Wild Assault into 5h, so you wouldn't be able to do Wild Assault into roll into shot as a mix-up, because you need something before the roll. Because Wild Assault gives you a hard knockdown on wall break without meter, this lets you set up some really powerful set play by letting you use the higher meter build to go for looping mix-ups while they're completely unable to burst if they didn't do it before the first Wild Assault connects. Here I go for three mix-ups, and after they got hit low, I was able to do another Wild Assault to lock them out of burst while building the meter to do a super to two touch. Alternatively, you could use this meter to really commit to the zoning aspect of it. Doing the Wild Assault locks them out of bursting while you keep yourself out of range of mashing. Deflect Shield is great for helping Happy Chaos defensively, but it can also mess with his offense. If the opponent is not cursed, then they can use Deflect Shield to make the reticle on track. This will mess up some mix-ups and even lead to punishes on zoning where you wouldn't think possible. It's still a new mechanic, but there seems to be a lot to explore. Thank you for watching.